Drifting is a driving technique where the driver intentionally loses control of the rear of the car, causing the loss of traction. There is an act to drifting, and a lot of people think it's just noise and smoke. It's totally not that. What it is, is controlling a car with rear traction, and losing the rear traction in your car, and using the power in the rear wheels to steer the car around the bend. I'm a track marshal for the Irish Drift Championship. I work with the Pro Drift Academy. I'm a track marshal with the Irish Drift Championship and I have to say it is awesome being part of that. I'm IDC track marshal. I love drifting, I love everything about it. I first saw it when I was maybe about 16, 17 on television. And I thought it was just unreal. Um, but I never thought of you know, Ireland with anything like it. Now to be part of it, it's like a dream come true, like, no. to be honest. We're up there like, with the best in the world. Like. Drifting became a big part of my life there. Right? My brother introduced me to it and it just means a lot to me because to be able to be stuck in this pretty cool motorsport, unlike any other in the world, with the car culture and everything, and the family we work with there, the Drift Championship, and the crew was just second to none. I would have always been a big fan of motorsport and I would have stayed up late watching WRC or I'd be up early on the Saturday and Sunday mornings watching Formula One. Personally it means to me, I'm in this now maybe six, seven years now and since day one it's just got bigger and bigger and bigger and I just look forward to it every year. A cool community to hang around with. There's just so nice people, so many people down to there, from the, the very tall, the very highest in, in the organisation down to the, the mechanics, even the people below that to make the sandwiches. They're just one big community, we all kind of know each other. They're a family, like now. Everyone's got a sponsor and everything, like now, but it doesn't matter who your sponsor is, who your tire, everyone is going to back everyone. I guess my most memorable moment with, with, in the drifting scene would have been Japfest in Mandela Park 2013. Uh, we, I think there was over 5,000 people at that event. My most memorable moment was round five last year's season when um, the final fight. Um, we had a lot of uh, Formula D drivers and drivers from Europe came over to take on the Irish undefeated 10 year run. Just the sheer power that these people and the, the determination they put in to make these cars to run crazy speeds into concrete walls at crazy angles and if they get it wrong they could be out for the rest of the season but nine times out of ten they're back in for the next round. The cost of parts if something goes wrong I mean like in, the, in, in this motorsport there's high performance parts on these cars things can go wrong and things do go wrong and so you're always constantly trying to fine tune. I've seen some of the amateur drifters, they bring everything they have to the track, probably everything in their pockets put into this machine, the amount of hours just before the event because it's always a last minute job. Judge it by speed, speedy, inter, inter the scoring zone at, um, angle, and uh, tire smock. Enter a corner at a certain speed, there, there will be a speed gun there just to make sure that you are above average. If you're, if you're not above that average speed, you, you will lose some points on your initial score. Um, you're, ba you're basically just qualifying at first. So you're you're just doing you're just doing the circuit of the of the course on your own and trying to score as many points as you can. A nice tidy run in and get your front wheel inside the clipping box in the first one. So that's an inside clip. And then as you're going around initiating out onto the outside clip, which will be in the outside of the track, and getting as close as you can to that clipping point without hitting it, and then coming back in again to the closest to the inside of the track and clipping that one and outside in again. That's just an over track. It gets a lot more complicated when the tracks are figure eight and everything like that. From, say, from here to maybe 
keep it 10 feet away from me like now, I'm roaring past you like now, in your day like now. This is awesome. I would recommend anyone who gets a chance like now to have be any part of drifting in Ireland like now. Grab it with both hands like now.